whole clan jam is in here today. Hello, it's me, Iweta. And if you're wondering why my face is a full face of makeup with a white t-shirt, it's because I was doing another bridal trial for my makeup and I don't like these lashes, but I didn't really want them to go to waste. <laughs> so here we are filming a favorites video. Welcome to today's video. I actually feel like I haven't done a favorites video in a while and I'm really excited about it because I feel like with my discovery of TikTok, <laughs> I have been trying quite a few new products and there's a few fitnessy things, there's some food, there's some beauty. I actually feel like I have a well-rounded favorites video. I think the last time I did a favorites video, I was just not super enthralled with my choices that I purchased, uh, but this time I am. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first thing that I wanna mention is actually something that I posted on my Instagram this weekend, and it is a chili pad. I'm not gonna bring it in here because it's outside, but it's for Eliza because she does not like to go in the pool. Oh, why is that pool and his ears perked up? I'm sorry. She is the only one that doesn't get in the pool willingly, and so in order to keep her cool during the summer, I bought this little chili pad off of Amazon, and it was super affordable. I wish it was a bit bigger because Eliza's almost 70 pounds, and I feel like she just needed more room, but you can put it in the shade. You're not supposed put it in the sunlight just in the shade and they lay in it and it's like self cooling so their body weight basically activates it and it keeps them cool and she loves it for the pool so everyone was asking where I got it I got it on Amazon a lot of my dog products I get on Amazon I really should do like one of those Amazon pages you know like where you put all the stuff that you have for your dogs and like separate it but that'd be a lot of work <laughs> that's where I got that so let, I'm not even gonna do this in order. I'm just gonna reach over here and grab these things and we're just gonna we're just gonna go. So first up is a beauty item. It is the summertime, so you gotta be wearing your SPF. You really should be wearing your SPF all the time. I was so horrible about this, especially when I lived in Florida, which just makes me wanna cry now, knowing how many days I spent in the insane Florida sun without SPF on my skin. I truly cannot, but I digress. New Tula SPF with probiotics is literally the best face sunscreen I've ever had in my entire life. I recently got a VI peel, which is like an intense medical grade chemical peel. I was not allowed to go in the sun at all, and they gave me this like SPF 50, which this one is SPF 30, so it's not as high as it could be, but I layer this underneath the Thrive Cosmetics CC Cream, which also is an SPF 30. I don't know if it works this way, like if 30 this and 30 that equals 60 SPF, I'm not sure. But if it does, it's good for me. So love that. This is UVA and UVB, UVB protection, which I don't typically see in facial SPFs. But the most important part about this, number one, it does not make me break out. And typically sunscreens do. I'm not sure if that's the zinc that's in it or what, but a lot of people I find also say that sunscreen makes them break out. But this one obviously has probiotics as everything does with Tula. But it's got pineapple and papaya for an even even skin tone wild butterfly ginger root protects against blue light stress and then obviously like the active sunscreen ingredients but the key is this doesn't have a stark white color you put it on your skin it's not a white see how it's just like really glowy and clear I think that's my favorite part about this because I've literally just worn this SPF on my face with nothing else and I've had multiple people at the gym be like what do you have on your skin and I'm like sunscreen. So I like that because it does give you a little bit of a glow, but it also helps protect you against the sun and also UVB if you are somebody that stares at a computer all day. And it just doesn't have that nasty like banana boat smell to it. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't personally like that on my face. I like that for my body. I like that beachy smell, but for the skin on my face, I'm very sensitive and this doesn't break me out. It smells amazing. If you're in the market for a new SPF on your face, check this bad boy out. Next up on the beauty, since we are on the beauty category, this was actually a TikTok, well, the browning lotion was a TikTok find, but when I got it on Ulta, they had um, buy one, get one 50% off of this brand. And apparently this brand has been around for a while. This is called Maui Babe, and a very popular item of theirs is the browning lotion that you use when you tan outside. And then this is a very thick body butter. But here's the thing. A lot of body butters often make me feel very greasy and like slick and heavy. And one of the ones I recently purchased was that unicorn body butter that I got on TikTok, which I actually really love the smell of. The thing was, it was so thick that like I couldn't wear it 
anywhere else for anything other than going to bed like it was so ridiculously thick and even then i felt like i had to rub it in so much so it didn't get everywhere but this one provides a ton of moisture the price is awesome for how much you get and this is definitely a summer item that i really like because it does have that like coconut beachy like i was just out in the sun all day and now i'm gonna put lotion on kind of smell you know if you are somebody who likes that coconut banana boat smell on your body then you would probably really like this but it's not overwhelming it doesn't you don't smell like a banana boat commercial you know like it's very it's mild but it's enough to make you feel cozy and summery next up we got shorts i love that i can wear shorts from now on and these new well i don't know if they're actually new this is just a style of fleo that I've never actually worn before i got these in quite a few different colors but this is probably my favorite this is like the i think the color is cabaret or something of that nature but these are the power high rise and everything that i get in fleo is always a size small but this waistband here is just nice and thick and the shorts are a little bit longer than the original uh two point i think they're 2.5 or 3.5 I can't remember. They're a little bit longer than that. So it's almost, it's like not quite a biker short, even though those are really in right now. They're, it's not quite as long as a biker short, but it's not super duper short and your butt cheeks don't fall out. So I really love them. I wore these in a couple of posts on my Instagram and people were asking me what they were. And you know, for me, the thing is with high rise stuff, it's going to make my torso look even smaller, shorter. And I know that, but in my opinion it's so much more flattering because you have that nice thick waistband and it doesn't dig in or make you feel uncomfortable so i also like to try to test out as many different clothing brands as possible when it comes to fitness wear because i personally am partial to lululemon and fleo but obviously you know some of their stuff is just very pricey and they don't have great sales often so i like to try to find other companies maybe things i haven't heard of before some things are recommended by you guys i did that video if you haven't seen that one go check that one out it is the uh, athletic brand try on haul but like things that were really pushed on instagram like fitness brands you know insta insta fit brands i think is what i called it but anyways i feel like there's a lot of there's just so many out there and some of them because they're not popular on instagram you might not know about them so this is one of those and the company is called outdoor voices if you've tried this before let me know in the comments what your favorites are but i grabbed a couple of things and um the two that i ended up liking the most is this little like crop top slash bra and i'm gonna link everything as always in the description box but this is great for the small chested girls like myself because it is something that you can totally wear as just a bra and it's supportive enough to where i feel like i could work out in it but it's also could be like a top you could wear a bra under this or you could just leave it as is and it's really cute this is i would say similar to the lululemon long line bras that are usually an online only but they do have a code it's not my code or anything it's just ov doing things 25 or something i'll put it right here so you can see which is 25 percent off so this is a lot more affordable than that obviously and i just thought this was really cute and it does it's really flattering and then these leggings in my opinion these are very similar material wise to the lululemon everlux material and they even have the little pocket in the waistband here so you can put like your keys or a debit card or something and then you know you can see like the contour seam in the back i just really like hunter green anything this is like my favorite color and i was thoroughly impressed so this is kind of one of those smaller brands and companies you know that you i never heard of and i wanted to give it a shot and i was pleasantly surprised and i love stuff like that i love when brands surprise me and i just take a chance and i end up loving it as we get into the food things i'm not going to bring my toaster in here but this this was an unnecessary purchase i'm just going to throw that out there this was a tiktok purchase it was an impulsive purchase but i just really love it and i have to include it because we're in 2020 you know and we have digital toasters and this is one of those things i just never really thought of and i love it i absolutely love how you can see everything on the screen you know exactly how long it's toasting for it comes out perfect every time including the english muffins which i was skeptical about because i'm like 
how are they toasting, you know, for different items, different ways. But it's true. The English muffin came out with just a little bit of crust on the top and the inside was still fluffy. And I was like, wow, it did not flatten the English muffin or make it really thin. And if you're somebody who has English muffins frequently, you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. Hooked, you know, I think I'll never need another toaster again, but I'm totally hooked. So next up, our little snack item. I think I may have talked about these in a full day of eating video before, but I love these. And I have heard that other people don't really like them. So I think this may be something where like, you either love them or you hate them. You know what I'm saying? But these are the Hippies Organic Chickpea Snacks. This is in the flavor barbecue, but I also really, really love the nacho and the white cheddar. They remind me of Cheeto Puffs, so they just kind of look like this, and they're dusted, which I love. Mmm, barbecue flavor. They just nailed it. They nailed it spot on. It's not too much, but it's not overly sour. It's perfect. If you love barbecue and you love crunch, these are awesome. And the macros on these are five fat, 17 carb, and four protein for 28 grams, which isn't a ton, but it's definitely enough if you're somebody who's like into those really crunchy snacks and just want something to have in the middle of your day. These are awesome. And then speaking of another crunchy item, I believe this is the same brand as those Harvest uh, Snap Pea Crisps. They were really popular last year, but I want to say this is the same brand. And they made these salad toppers out of green pea crisps. And when I, when we started into the summer, I kind of went crazy on a salad kick again and put these on my salads and they were amazing. I am a texture gal. I love making salads with really crunchy elements and then a nice like soft cheese or I don't know. I just like multiple things in my meals. And this was a great addition to that. The chipotle flavor is a little bit spicy. So, but this is the only flavor that my fresh time had. So if you have tried any other flavor of these definitely let me know because i thought they were such a great addition to my salad and i'm really looking for the other flavors so i can test those out as well next up are two hair care products and this one i'm going to say with a disclaimer slash warning <laughs> this is the bedhead t-i-g-i -I, a wave we go crimper and yes crimpers are back <laughs> i did not know this until i saw everyone crimping their hair and i was like i have to try it and I, first of all, if you have long hair, this is fabulous. I've seen how this looks on very long, thick, voluminous hair, and it's just ugh, amazing. Now, if you have shorter hair like me, the key is, see, you can twist this guy so that it comes out more, which will make the waves really thick, or you twist it back and it makes it thinner. So the key is to kind of put it in the middle and you do not hold it on your hair for too long when i crimped my hair with this thing all i did was section the top portion up and then i would just like take little pieces like this and i swear i held it for like maybe four seconds if that i did it really quickly and some pieces i held a little bit longer than others and i think it just made it have that more natural look to it as opposed to very like uniformed crimps you know what i mean so i really liked it though and it's a really fast way to do your hair but it definitely gives you that more like tussled beachy vibe and then to add to that i'm almost out of this because i've been using it non-stop this is the uh, detox dry shampoo from dry bar and i've been a really huge lover of the batiste dry shampoo i've used that for years but this i don't even know what possessed me to buy this but i did on a whim and i absolutely love it i think this works better than the Batiste one and it doesn't come out as white. It still is a little bit, but it's just not as heavy as the other one and the smell is really nice. It's, I just like to switch it up every now and then. So really, really like this, especially during the summer when you don't want to wash your hair all the time. I mean, I don't really wanna wash my hair all the time anyways, but <laughs> I forgot I had another food item. I posted this picture on Instagram the other day of my steak quesadillas with a side of chips. And a lot of people, especially beginners, when they're tracking their macros, they struggle with their protein intake. And just as a disclaimer, the Quest protein bars, I think are absolute garbage. I think their protein powder is garbage and I think everything other than their chips is garbage. But that's just my personal opinion. I can't stand the taste of it. But for some reason, their chips, specifically the taco, the loaded taco ones, do not have that gross aftertaste that Quest typically does. So these are uh, the cheddar and sour cream ones, another favorite. But I think that, oh yeah, duh, they did. They have new and improved 
And if you're gonna buy these, you gotta make sure that it has the new and improved on the packaging because those are the better ones. But the macros on these are phenomenal. Five grams of fat, five carbs, and 19 protein for this bag. It's about as, as filled as a Lay's bag, okay? So keeping it real, it's about down to here. But I think if you're somebody who struggles with protein and you're looking for an extra way to sneak some in on some days, this is a great way to do it. I know they're a little bit on the pricey side, but not for something that I would eat every day, but maybe like as a travel snack or something like that. Lastly, I actually have a book favorite that I wanna share with you guys, and I am not done with it yet. I'm about halfway through, but this is the book called How We Love by Milan and Kay Yurkovich. It was gifted to me by my friend Meg, who she read this with her husband before they got married, and she said it was amazing. So I've been going through it. There's a workbook included with it as well, which I think is really great. You can like jot down your little notes in here. Right from the beginning, this book kind of hit me in a different way. It's not like your typical relationship style book. It's a little bit different. There are some uh, hints of religion, of specifically Christian religion. So if that's not, you know, your beliefs, then you might want to reconsider. But if I, I feel like, you know, I wouldn't consider myself an overly religious person and I still feel like this book is really valuable. I really enjoy it. And one of the things that the book first asked in like the very first chapter or second chapter was thinking about remembering a time where you felt comforted by your parents and it could be you know something really silly it could be something really big and it wanted you to think about the last time that you could recall being comforted by your parents and then it goes and talks about how that affects you as an adult in your relationships um, the type of attachment style that you have which a few favorites videos ago back I actually recommended the book called Attach which I still love I recommend that book as well if you are not familiar with the attachment styles or which attachment style you are but I'm very anxious attachment and Austin is secure attachment and this book kind of touches on that as well like being in a relationship with somebody who has a different attachment style than you and it's just really eye-opening I mean not that I didn't already know because I don't have a father in my life um, you know, I already knew that that impacted me as an adult and my relationships and all that fun stuff. But I think it's a really great way to not look at it in such a negative light because that's something I personally have struggled with. And I go through phases, you know, where sometimes I'm really angry and I other times I'm just really confused and I just I don't understand like and I'm sure some of you that are watching this can relate because when I when I posted about it there were so many other people who you know have similar backgrounds or childhood issues that I had I just think that this book is a way to look at your childhood traumas or your lack of parenting or in my case lack of a father and learn how to apply that in your relationship now to grow and to also have your partner better understand you but also you better understand your partner because somebody you know like austin for example who grew up in a family where his mom and dad are high school sweethearts and they still actively show each other love he did not understand what that type of childhood that i had look like and not trying to say that my entire childhood was horrible but in the sense of relationships that seriously impacted my thoughts and views on relationships as an adult so this book kind of walks you through that and also like things to uh, discuss before you get married and things to work on throughout your marriage actively so i don't know i just thought it was good i've obviously never read a premarital book before so I thought it was nice. I wanted to share it in case anybody else is engaged or, you know, just looking for a good marital book. I really liked it. That is everything on my June favorites this month. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And as always in my favorites video, drop your favorites below because nine times out of 10, I try what you guys recommend and I love it because I feel like you know me so well. So that's all I got for you in today's video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so you never miss a Monday or Thursdays with Manders. And that's all I have for you. We will see you the next video oh oh <laughs> you're a good girl yes you are a good girl oh big stretch big stretch look at this big old block head it's almost as big of a head as mine and then that's pretty damn big